Okay, so today um, it's going to be a short one because today I'm going to go over uh, basically how to cook bacon. Uh, most people are going to be like, yeah, I know how to cook bacon. Um, well, th this is a kind of a way to not stink up your house style of bacon. Um, there are people who don't like the smell of bacon being fried. I don't understand it um, because who doesn't like, I mean, it, it's bacon being fried is the, the equivalent of like essential oils. Um, it's, it's bacon. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Um, so if you don't want this, this, the smokiness or the smell of bacon, um, or you want to cook a whole bunch of it at one time fairly easily, uh, or if you um, want to be able to cook the bacon and then save the bacon grease uh, for other purposes, um, for like making, uh, um, I don't know, I'll use the bacon grease, the leftover bacon grease for frying eggs or certain recipes I'll use a little bit of bacon grease just to kind of give it a little bit of a, a smokiness or a bacon flavor to the oil. Um, so what I've got here is I got a uh, pound of bacon um, and then I've got a cookie sheet that's lined with tin foil. The reason why I have a lot of tin foil is because it's easier for me to, when this is all done, I can easily just pull the sides up and pour it into a, uh, if I'm going to throw it away, um, don't know why you'd want to, but if you want to throw it away, then it's easy enough to dump it into like a tin can or something like that. Uh, so that you toss it out once it cools down because you don't want to pour it down your drain because it can clog your drain. Bad for your pipes. But it's good for you to eat. Um, so what I got going right now is I preheating my oven to 400 degrees. And basically it's going to take the bacon and just light out like this. I have seen people who say to twist it. Um, the whole reasoning behind the twisting is you can get twice as much on your pan. See how that's the, tw the twisted bacon is half the size. So by twisting it and twisting it like this, you can actually get a whole lot more bacon onto one cookie sheet rather than having to do multiple cookie sheets or multiple um, bake times and whatnot. So just kind of lay the, and some of it just doesn't want to cooperate with me, which it's the way it goes sometimes. So you definitely could get, by doing this way, you, it's definitely possible to probably get like two, two or more pounds of bacon onto a cookie sheet to cook it. Rather than um, if you lay it out flat, you're only probably going to get a maybe about a pound, uh, depending on how it's cut. This is a thick cut bacon, so I definitely could get a whole um, a whole pound onto it laying flat without any problem. But if it was like a, a thinner cut or a regular cut bacon, then it'd be kind of tricky. We're to have to overlay it with other sizes of bacon and. Sometimes it doesn't cook all the way, which is fine. Um, this means I gotta cook things a little bit longer here and there. But supposedly this way, um, don't have to worry about that because it's just each slice of bacon on there. And when you cook it, it's starting at about 12 minutes of time for your pound of bacon. Look at it after about 12 minutes, see how it looks. Um, if you've cooked bacon before, you kind of know how you like it, how you want it. Um, so you can definitely make it either, um, you can make it super crispy if you like it like that, or you can make it just to the point where it's done and it is completely safe to eat if you've never cooked bacon before. Um, and this is your 
first time trying to cook bacon. I will show you what it will look like, where you want it to be. Uh, you definitely don't want it to be raw because there's a chance you could get sick from it. You can get sick from just about eating any meat. Except for sushi. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but... Alright, so there's a full pound of bacon on there. Normally, if I if I lay it out flat, it's going to be... I'd fill up this whole thing, and then I'd have to lay a few going this way. Um, but this way, there definitely is a lot more room on here. I could twist it a lot more and squeeze them together a little bit more if I needed to, but I don't have that need right now. So I'm going to cook this, put it on for about uh, 12 minutes um, once, the, once the oven is preheated, and then I'll check after 12 minutes to see how it looks. Okay, so it's been 12 minutes now, and oh, the smell is just amazing. Just the aromatherapy I'm getting from this just makes me calm. And then the, the sizzling is... I wonder if you can make money off of recording that. But this is what it's like after 12 minutes. It's probably about the point where you probably could eat it. Um, but I'm going to put it in for... Um, let it cook for about another four to five more minutes. Okay, so after five more minutes, uh, this is what this looks like. And this looks like about done for me. Um, some people may say they want it crispier, that's fine. So I've had to cook them, cook them for about 17 minutes now. At 400 degrees, certainly cook it longer, but since I'm gonna be putting into a casserole, I am gonna take this out. And since I'm going to put the casserole in the oven that I'm making with the bacon going to be in it, I don't see the need to really overcook it. Um, so it is, I mean, it is done. So it's safe to eat now. So there you go. That's uh, one way of how to cook bacon without frying it. The other way is to do this exact same way, but on the grill. And can you cook bacon on the grill? Absolutely, I've done it before. When it's uh, when it's really, really, really hot outside, <clears throat> and the wife doesn't want the, uh, the oven on to heat up the house, then I'll usually get um, some tin foil like this, and I'll make it into almost like a almost like into a shape of a cookie sheet. Or also, if we have an older cookie sheet that we don't really care about, um, I'll put that in the grill and just put the grill on. If you, if you have a temperature gauge, put it in about 400 degrees and cook it for about the same amount of time. There you go.